frankly, you know, if you, if you looked at the track record of the profession in the, just in the last 10 years and how, you know, woefully poor it's been, and you said, all right, if the medical profession had that track record, you know, if you, if you sent uh, a certain percentage of the people into the hospital and they came out um, with as many wrong predictions as many uh, you know botched operations as as the economics profession has had in predicting the 08 crisis I think everyone should be held accountable for their advice but but I think particularly that holding economists accountable for their advice will improve the quality uh, of, 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 of the advice that's given uh, it will also encourage society and particularly economists to be rigorous in developing their analysis and postulations uh, society will benefit from reviewing what went wrong and how to improve the quality of decision making. I think they absolutely should be held accountable for their advice. Um, and I think economists should also be held accountable for what kind of economics we're using. And have you set out what the possible pathways might be if you used a different model? Because there is no one model to development. Accountability um, is uh, a key to success uh, in any uh, uh, endeavor. Uh, the problem is, you know, how do you define accountability in a social science? Um, so human beings are constantly evolving and changing. Uh, it seems reasonable to assume that economics must evolve and change as well as uh, as well economists. Um, and I think the problem uh, with uh, economics in terms of holding people accountable is that the, the lag times in policy are, are long uh, and variable. It's more difficult to hold people accountable because they make mistakes. Secondly, they even if they do make mistakes, it is not really uh, their direct responsibility because it's somebody else is making the, the decision to follow that particular uh, route. I think they are actually accountable to the extent that the others as you know, would be very quick to point out that this mistake we cannot uh, have a tribunal where we are going to, you know, sort of exercise the economists who have been uh, wrong. Recommendations from economists uh, should be uh, taken carefully. And these policy recommendations are relative and we should also understand the assumption behind it. For example, my joke is, <clears throat> If the institution still in the Jurassic Park and we provide a policy recommendation like a Star Wars, this is not going to work. We have to be very realistic with the situation. The sense of uh, epistemic privilege that economists they have, and they should be aware of it. They should be self-critic to their own <laughs> privilege that they have when advising, for example, governments and, and politicians. I think they should have in their mind, they should understand that um, you know, we, we should be concerned about uh, different narratives about what's happening in society, different narratives about who you, we are. This should be kind of prerequisites for any researchers. No, there is no one truth. There are many and you need to deal with that. And in fact, if you look at all the different areas of academic pursuit in the sciences, and I'll include economics as a science, Economics is at close to the very bottom in terms of its integration with other sciences. Uh, it really stands pretty much alone. So how do we make academics and research accountable? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but we certainly have a system right now that enforces its kind of looking into itself and reducing its uh, accountability. I'm not going to answer should they be accountable for their advice, uh, but I think they should definitely be held accountable for their ideas. And I think there, is, there are sufficient grounds for questioning some of the fundamental ideas that underpin the current economic paradigm.
But I think I, it's also just fundamentally the wrong approach because I think they, they, they were trying to do the right thing. They didn't have the intention to do wrong. They started with very um, narrow mo models of the real world and on which on the basis of which they give advice, assuming, of course, they're benevolent, which I do for the purpose of the argument. Uh, what I think is much more important is ex ante contestability and contestation, uh, bringing more people into the room and really debating these issues. Mm -hmm.